Hi everyone, this is Jackie Jones, founder and CEO of Way We Do. Today I'm going to show you how to use decision points um, in activated checklist for corrective action. So some of our customers, they run through processes for compliance um, purposes and if the result um, is not in the range or um, in a or adhering to a particular standard, then um, corrective action may need to be implemented. So I have um, an example on screen, which is a temperature log. So many of our customers are using way we do activated checklists for recording the temperature of refrigerators and other types of equipment to ensure that they are staying uh, within a particular temperature range. So in this particular process, we have entering the name of the equipment, then entering the temperature, and then we have the decision point, which is, is the temperature in the normal range? So I'm gonna run this process, which you can run manually, um, and you can also run it um, um, automatically on a daily um, basis, for example. So I'm gonna enter um, today's date, which is the 6th of November, 2018. I'll click confirm. And I simply run through the process. So the first um, step is entering the name of the equipment. So I'm gonna call, enter the refrigerator name. So some companies, um, they simply give their equipment um, different numbers um, or letters, or if you want to give them another type of name, um, um, you can do that. Okay, so I've just completed that next step. Um, the next step is enter the temperature. So I'm gonna say it's um, 30 um, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna tick that item off. And then the next item is, um, is the decision point. So is the temperature in the normal range? So in the case of a cafe or restaurant, um, your refrigerator must be between a certain temperature range. So in this case, I have um, 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and in Celsius, um, that's usually between zero to four degrees Celsius. So in this case, because I entered 30 degrees, it actually sits outside of this normal range. So I'm gonna click no. And so next, it then um, displays the corrective action. So this is the next step for the person to follow or the team member to follow um, to then enter the um, corrective action that they then implemented um, for this um, particular scenario. And it could be that the next step is they call the service person to um, service the refrigerator or maybe um, they conduct another test and you know in an hour's time. So that's just to give you an example of how to use the activated checklist decision points um, in a corrective action scenario. Um, if you need any support from Way We Do, please contact the team at support at waywedo.com and you can also visit our support site uh, which is support.com wayweDo.com. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye.